Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you, as you can see here by the pictures that I pulled off of Pinterest, I'm going to be recreating my own kitchen tea towel ladder. And I'm just using wood pieces that I already have here at home. Very simple and quick. This ladder will be displayed in my kitchen for my 2023 kitchen makeover refresh. So if you're interested in seeing how I put this quick mini ladder together, then just keep watching. And I wanna thank you all for stopping by. So I thought I'd go ahead and share this DIY. I am going to be, what I am making here is a mini ladder, but I see here on Pinterest, a lot of them call it a tea towel ladder. And you see how much that one is, $27.95. Some may spend that, I won't, almost $30, probably over that when you get in the mail. So I'm making this because I'm going to be refreshing my kitchen for winter for 2023, but also a company reached out to me because they wanna send me some tea towels and just create a vignette to send them a picture so they can display it on their website. So that's why I thought I'd come on and share how I am making my ladder. Now, what I've used, and if you all saw my video that I just uploaded when I made my own TV picture frame, in there I used wood that I had, and that wood actually came from my granddaughter's um, she had an easel when she was like seven years old, six or seven. She wanted to throw it away. And of course, me being a DIYer, I saw all that wood going in the trash. I said, nope. I disassembled it and brought all the wood home with me. And this is part of the easel. And what I like about this one, this is already cut at a slant. And I had about four of these. One I already used on the picture frame and then the red ones on the side. So I had about three of these left. Yes. And I've already cut it up. This is the one that's left over. And you see all the wood, uh, the holes in there. I was able to use some of them at my advantage to screw nails through on the side here. And then these here holes, I happen to have some little wood plugs fit in these holes perfectly. I can see what I've done so far. I've cut this down. Let's see, this is 15 inches. And then the, what I call the steps are seven inches and I only did three, but you can see here where I put those little wood plugs in just to plug up the hole. I had to hammer those in. And then on the inside here, those I was able to just put, at least I pushed this one in. Let me see if this one will just go in and stay in. No, that one's too big. I may, and I got my glue gun on I may just have to glue it in which is fine, but this is, oh, that one pushed right in and it's staying. Well, no, it's not staying. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue. But what I did was the whole, let me see if I can show it on this stick. After I cut it down, there was a hole right in here. This long piece, I was able to screw the hole in I mean, screw the nail in, not the nail. A nail doesn't have the little coils. I was able to put the screw in to connect the step. And you can see right here. So that's what I use that hole to my advantage to get the middle step in. And this is the bottom because it's going to have a lane to it. And that's what I like about it. So I'm getting ready to add these two. And I think I'm going to leave it natural. I may paint the bottom black, I'm not sure, because I have some things up there that's natural. And this is what it's going to look like. Isn't that the cutest thing? And I still have some little holes up in here, so I'm going to take those out. And I'm still going to plug up these holes with these, so I'm just going to use some glue. Okay, so what I'm doing next is I'm going to mark 
my space is evenly. So from the bottom of the middle rail to the top of the bottom rail, it's going to be four inches. And then same here from the top of the middle rail to the bottom of the top rail is four inches. Going to use some glue now the glue that I'm using is the gorilla stick glue it's not the gorilla wood glue which would actually be a lot better and the only reason why I'm using that is because I don't have wood screws that I can push through this and then my drill bit or my drill is not working and I'm just I it, there was enough elbow grease using trying to cut the stick and my arms and shoulders are sore so, and then this is, it's just something that's going to be displayed on my countertop, so it won't break um, as long as it's sitting. If I go and just slam it, then yes, it's gonna break if I'm just using glue. But um, if this is something that you wanna make, and of course you wanna be permanent, use wood. If you don't have the screws, wood screws, then use the Gorilla Wood Glue, because from what I've seen, people using that, um, and I have used it once before. It is very, very good. And I think the glue sticks are yellow. Um, but again, I'm just using Gorilla glue sticks. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this on here. done and all glued together and I'm sanding it a little bit because I think I'm just going to paint this half black and leave the rest natural um, I've seen some Pinterest inspirations where some was left white I think there was some that were gray but since my cabinets are black and I do have some wood um, things up here natural wood decor pieces up here I'm going to go ahead and paint the bottom of this black and leave the rest natural um, since I'm going to have a great towel, and again, I love the way that it leans. That's something I didn't have to cut, thank goodness. So I'm going to go ahead and finish with lightly sanding it. I'll paint it, and then I'll show it decorated and undecorated. You'll see that it's also all black because I didn't have any painter's tape to make straight lines. And here it is. All done before styling it out. I like the way this came. And again, I especially like that it just leans back on its own because of how it was already angled. It's so cute. And it is all styled out. Again, I will show it in my kitchen, my 2023 winter kitchen refresh when I get the tea towels from the company. And I'll have this all set up right now. This is just set up for the video purposes of showing the ladder all done. So if you enjoyed watching this quick tutorial video of how to create your own mini tea towel ladder, then give it a thumbs up and I would love to read your comments. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss my upcoming video of my 2023 kitchen makeover refresh where I will be displaying this towel in a vignette. And for my faithful viewers and subscribers, again, thank you so much for your viewing support. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.